This TV Mass is brought to you live by Philippine Long Distance Telephone, SME Nation. Success through technology with BLDT SME Nation. At this fourth week of the Advent season, Father, as our Advent pilgrimage draws to a close, we will light the candle of hope, of peace, and joy, and we light a candle of love. Grant us the courage to share your love, love for life and for all creation, love for sinners and saints, love for the poor and the little ones. We thank you for the hope of your Son that he gives us, for the hope he bestows, for the joy your Spirit pours into our hearts, and for your love that redeems us and shows us the way. Amen. Amen. We begin then our celebration in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your Spirit. We have been created because of love. We have been saved because of love. And Jesus, His desire is that the spirit of His love be in our hearts. Sa mga pagkakataon, wala ang pag-ibig na yan sa ating mga sinasabit, mga gawa. We ask the Lord's forgiveness. Together now, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us now pray. Go forth, we beseech you, O Lord, your grace into our hearts, that we to whom the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Micah prophesies the birth of a shepherd king in Bethlehem, the birthplace of King David. Matthew's Gospel will report that this prophecy will direct the Magi from the east to Bethlehem, where they will worship the child Jesus. The first reading. 
A reading from the book of the prophet Micah. Thus says the Lord, You, Bethlehem, Ephrata, too small among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me one who is the ruler, to be ruler in Israel, whose origin is from of old, from ancient times. Therefore the Lord will give them up until the time when she who is to give birth has born, and the rest of his kindred shall return to the children of Israel. He shall stand firm and shepherd his flock by the strength of the Lord, in the majestic name of the Lord his God, and they shall remain. For now his greatness shall reach to the ends of the earth. He shall be peace. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
far greater than the offerings and sacrifices of the Old Covenant is the obedience of Christ, who came into the world in total submission to God's plan of salvation. The second reading. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, when Christ came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you prepared for me in holocausts and sin offerings you took no delight. Then I said, as is written of me in the scroll, Behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, Sacrifices and offerings, holocausts and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. These are offered according to the law. Then he says, Behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, be to God. God. Please stand to give glory and honor to the Holy Gospel. of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. The proclamation from the Holy Gospel according to St. Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Mary set out and traveled to the hill country in haste to a town of Judah where she entered the house of Zechariah and greeted Elizabeth. When Elizabeth heard Mary's greeting, the infant leaped in her womb. And Elizabeth, filled with the Holy Spirit, cried out in a loud voice and said, Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb. And how does this happen to me, that the mother of my Lord should come to me? For at the moment the sound of your greeting reached my ears, the infant in my womb leaped for joy. Blessed are you who believed that what was spoken to you by the Lord would be fulfilled. Sisters and brothers, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Muli sa araw na ito sinasariwa para sa atin ang pagkita ng dalawang buntong. This. Kanina pinakikinggan ko yung isang pari sa television mass. Ang ganda nung sinabi niya, yung isa, dahil sa kanyang katandaan at pagiging baog, had hoped, prayed for the birth of a child that would remove her shame before all the others that she is a woman at hindi nagkakaanak. The second received the child in faith, not understanding kung paano nangyari ang lahat. But Mary received Jesus, sabi ng isang dakilang writer, firstly into her heart before she received Jesus into her womb. One received the gift in hope, 
the other receive the gift in faith. My dear friends, every child comes to this world with a purpose and a meaning. Kaya napakahalaga na pakinggan natin itong sinasabi ng aking phrase na nabasa. Ang ganda kasi, ang sabi dito ay, Your mission in life is to discover your gift. And the meaning of your life is to share that gift. Ganda nun. Ha? Ibig sabihin, napunta ka rito sa mundo, hindi lamang para isang taong pampa, tawag ko dyan pampa, pamparami at pampagulo. Nandito ka. Because the Lord wants you to be a gift to many and a blessing for all. May namit po akong isang pamilya, naging very close po ako sa kanila, ang pamilya ng mga bautista. Nakakatuwa naman, sa yung nanay si Beth, no? ay isang nurse, yung asawang lalaki, isang doktor, ang lima nilang anak, apat doktor. Nakakatuwa sapagkat nagsishare yung isa, ang <coughs> sabi sa akin, Father, lahat po ng halos doktor, nag o dito sa isang government facility na ang tawag natin ay Fabelia. Fabelia. Sino sa inyo nakarating na roon? <coughs> Ako'y hindi pa. Gugulatin ko kayo. Father sa isang buwan, ang ipinapaanak roon sa, pabel- sa Fabelia ay umabot sa, hindi naman masyadong marami, 500 babies. Sa isang 12-hour duty nitong doktor na anak, ang kanya pong napapaanak ay 20. Lahat nakabuka ka na yan pag ipinapasok. Kaya man takin, nakaupo na lang sila. Nakapila lahat daw yan, yung mga mga anak na yan. Nagkaantay na lang pag malapit ang umire, tsaka na lang pupuntahan ng doktor. Mantakin mo araw-araw, yun ang kaharap mo. <laughs> Matidismaya ka nga naman. Ang sabi ko sa kanya, na gusto ko maka-experience ng bagpapaanak, ang problema lang, sobra akong may takot sa dugo. Kasi, <clears throat> ewan ko ba, pero hindi ata talaga ako pwedeng maging doktor. Pero nang sinabi niya yung kwento niya, Father, sa pabelya, talagang challenge. Kasi Father, sa dami ng pinapaanak doon, sometimes three in a bed ang naandun. Yung iba nga, Father, ayaw umalis kasi may libreng pakain. Father, para sa mga iba din doon, para may mga sinasabi yung kustumbre na hindi naliligo habang yung batay maliit pa. Kaya, Father, ang amoy, ganun na lamang. Father, sabi niya, mayroon po akong ipinaanak doon. Hindi naman po masyadong marami. Kasi tatlo po ang kanyang naging asawa. Father, Nagkaroon po siya ng 19 babies. At ayaw pang huminto. Kasi daw doon sa pangatlo, dadalawa pa lang ang na- naanakan siya. Alam ko akong doktor, sasampaling ko yun. You know? Paano mo aalagaan ang 19 anak? Ay talagang hindi ko na maintindihan. No? Ang pinakabata daw niya na paanak doon ay 13 anyos ang pinaka-eldest ay 58. O bakit kayo nag-react? <laughs> ang punto ko'y eto, eto bang mga nanganganak na to? Alam ba nila na napakalaki ang responsibilidad sa pagtanggap ng isang anak? That the child that comes to through me into the world ay hindi lamang yung responsibilidad ng tatay o nanay yung magkaanak ng magkaanak. Hindi kundi ito, that the child will be able to discover his gift and develop that gift and to share that gift. So that hindi ka lang pampa, pamparami at pampagulo sa mundo, kundi na ikaw ay magiging blessing para sa iba. It is great to know that Zechariah and Elizabeth would discover the gift of their son and made sure that is able to become a blessing. That Jesus in the end, through Mary and Joseph, would become truly a gift to the world as the God who saves. 
Kaya kayo mga magulang na naandito, ang greatest challenge po ninyo, discover the gift of your children and let them understand that the meaning of their lives is to be found in sharing that gift. Ako ay tuwan-tuwa. Napakarami po natin ng blessing ngayon. Si Jose has decided to play for the, vi the violin for us. And of course, madalas na nating naririnig si Joshua. I just discovered, for example, kanina, sapagkat kasama ko po yung mag magtatay, si Joshua at si Orlan, ah, sa, sa, sa sasakyan, that Joshua pala, even at the age of nine, ay tumatagal po, hindi po masyadong kumakanta yan. Inaabot nang ng alas dosin ng gabi oh, sa pagkakakanta. The Lola discovered the gift of the Apo. Uh, ulitin ko, the Lola, hindi po yung tatay. Pero yung Lola discovered because nasa jeans nila. Ay yung pinsan pala ni Lola is a national artist for music. Ang pangalan po niya ay si Nawala na. Mm -mm. Ang pangalan po niya ay si Franz, Feliciano Francisco. So there is something there. Lahat tayo binibigyan ng gift. How do you develop that gift? How does that gift become truly something that the world is blessed with? Ngayon si Joshua, dinala na yan sa Cebu para kumanta sa mga APEC members. Nakarating na yan sa uh, blessing ng, ng Schumart, ng Sisa, at kinuha ng pamilyang si para tumugtog doon. At hindi lang yan. Ngayon may nag-iimpita sa kanya na prinsesa ng Brunei para tumugtog doon. The gift is there. We have to discover the gift. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, tanong nyo sarili nyo, ano ba gift nyo? No? Katulad ni Dominic, no? he has discovered that he has this gift for music and he sings. The important thing is you become a person who is a gift to others. Lahat tayo may kanya-kanya. Anong magagawa mo para makatulong ka? Kung talagang ikaw nais magsilbi sa bayan bilang isang politiko, then be the gift that God desires for His people. Be a leader that has in His heart the pain of His own people. Kung ikaw ay isang taong maganda ang ngiti, pwede kang member ng Sunshine Committee, taga-welcome, taga ngiti, para pagpasok ng mga tao sa bigat ng kanilang problema, para mapapagaan, sapagat pagpasok pa lamang sa simbahan, mayroon na nakangiti sa kanila. Kung ikaw ay isang taong marunong mang pressure ng iba, sapagat nakakatakot ang mukha mo, at pag tumingin ka para bagang gagawin na lahat para sa'yo, pwede kang maging collector sa simbahan. <laughs> Kanya-kanyang gift lang yan. <laughs> Ang mahalaga, hindi para sa sarili. You know, katulad dito, ako ngayon ay inasign ng aming superior na maging executive director ng St. Paul Seminary Foundation. Anong gagawin doon? Mangungulekta, manghihingi ng tulong. Kasi daw yun ang gift ko. Pwede daw akong magbenta. Pwede mang... <clears throat> Pwede mandugas ng tao. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Pero hindi ako takot. Bakit? Hindi napupunta sa akin. Alam ko na pag ito'y ginawa ko, it is not for me. It is for the betterment of other people. My dear friends, bukas, <clears throat> ibibigay ang pangalan ni Juan. And that is the name with which the child is going to be called. And the name is such a beautiful name. For it actually means, God is a giver of gifts. God is a generous God. God is graciousness. Mga kapatid, ang bawat kristyano, hindi lamang si Juan, should have that in his heart. At I will be a gift to people, and people will be happy. Advice ko nga kay Joshua, Josh, ikaw ita artist ka, at the age of 15, 16, kung saan-saan ka na dinadala. I will tell you one thing, when you go and play for people, don't ever always say, Pera ang mahalaga. Siyempre, kailangan yun. Pero hindi. Yung bang pupunta ka roon and make people feel, wow, swerte kami na andito siya tumugtog. Wow, andito siya and is giving us the best. The rest will follow. But for now, your mission in life is to discover your gift. Your meaning in life is to share that gift to the best of your ability. I've always said this, no? It is a great feeling to know that the Lord answers your prayers. 
but it is a far greater feeling to know that the Lord has used you to be the answer to someone else's prayer. Ulitin ko sa Tagalog, napakahalaga ito. Na sa Christmas na ito yung tuwa na magagaling sa inyong mga puso, hindi lamang nakasalalay sa inyong pagtanggap. Ito yon. Masarap ang pakiramdam para sa isa na alam niya ang kanyang mga dasal ay binibigyan kasagutan. Pero mas masarap pala ang pakiramdam kung ikaw mismo ay ginamit ng Panginoon bilang kasagutan sa dasal ng iba. My dear friends, brothers and sisters, John became a gift of God to His people. Jesus definitely the gift for all humanity for their salvation. We all can become a gift. Sa punto pong ito, gusto ko lamang pong ipaalam sa inyo. No? Uh, sometimes nagre-reklamo tayo kay Lord for the blessings we did not receive even after praying. Di ba Lord? Naglakad naman ako ng patiwarik mula baklaran hanggang kiyapo. Nagpapako naman ako sa Cruz sa San Fernando, Pampanga. Ang kapal-kapal kaya ng novinang natapos ko na. Bakit hindi mo pa rin sinasagot ang aking hinihingi? Hoy kapatid, totoo. There will be moments when the Lord will not answer or pray. But don't focus there. Because sometimes we take for granted the many other blessings He has given us without us even asking. Pero ito pa. Ito pa. That sometimes we complain to the Lord for the gifts we did not receive, but we did not thank Him for the tragedies from which we have been spared. Napakarami sa ating mga kapatid ang dumaan sa matinding-matinding pagyong nona. Many of them will celebrate Christmas without a home, without a house. Many of them will enter 2016 with hardly anything for the future. Mayroon po tayong inimpita ngayon. Pinuntahan ko po yung bahay nila at ako'y tuwang-tuwang nakarating sa Pinamalayan, sa Oriental Mindoro. Nandun, ganda ng bahay kubong ginawa nila by the bee, by the sea. Mayroon silang factory para tumulong sila sa mga naandun kasi kadalasan ang hanap buhay doon ay saging at pangingisda. So gumawa sila ng factory ng banana chips para makatulong sa mga naandun. Ang ganda ng place nila, wipe out dahil sa nona. I'd like you to tell him to tell you his story nang malaman nyo kung anong sitwasyon ng napakarami sa ating mga kapatid ngayon. Please welcome si Ino uh, Reyes. Tawagin po natin siya. Salamat po, Father Mar. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Kami po at ang mga kasama ay mula sa bayan ng Pinamalayan, Oriental Mindoro, na siyang hinagupit ng bagyong Sinona noong Martes ng umaga. Sa kasalukuyan po ay nababalot ng kadiliman at dalamhati ang aming bayan. Malamang po ay pagsapit ng Pasko, lalong madarama ng aming bayan ang gutom at lamig sa kadahilanan na humigit kumulang labin limang libong kabahayan ang winasak ni Nona sa aming bayan pa lamang po. Sa ngalan po na nagdadalam hating bayan at mamamayan ng aming mahal na pinamalayan, kami po ay kumakatok sa inyong mga damdamin na sana makita ninyong ibahagi sa amin ang inyong makakayang tulong upang kami ay muling makabangon. Alam namin na maraming ibang bayan sa buong Pilipinas ang katulad naming kakatok. Ngunit salamat, Father Mar, sa pagkakataong ito, sana po ay wag ninyong makalimutan ang pinamalayan Oriental Mindoro. Naniniwala po kami na hindi natutulog ang Diyos sapagkat ang inyong busilak na damdamin ang magbabalik ng ningning sa aming mga luhaang mata. Sigla 
sa aming mga nababalisang katawan at tibok sa aming nagluluksang mga puso. Sana po, ngayong Pasko, maidulot ninyo ang tuwa sa aming mga mamamayan at dalangin namin ang isang maluwalhating Pasko sa inyong lahat at nawayang inyong bagong taon ay maging makabuluhan. Maraming maraming salamat po. Lalaman ko po na almost 70,000 ang affected sa area nila na walang masabing tahanang mauuwian. Paking, hindi ko ninyo nakuha, 15,000 ang bahay that were totally damaged sa pinamalayan. Ang Pasko pa naman sa Pilipino napakahalaga. Pag hindi masaya ang Pasko, parang walang Pasko. Parang walang, hindi masaya ang buong taon. I think today the Lord is appealing to us to be gifts to the people at least ng pinamalayan. Alam ko, ang dami pa po dapat tulungan. But today, I would like us to be God's blessing. The presence of God's graciousness sa pamamagitan po natin. Nagdesisyon po tayo na ang lahat ng koleksyon ay ating pong ibibigay as an outreach nitong ating TV Mass para po sa pinamalayan. Hindi po kailangan ng pamilyang Ino na Mav, ng Reyes. Actually, may kaya po sila. Ang gusto lamang po nila ay makapag-outreach sa mas marami pa na kahit paano ay maramdaman naman nila na hindi sila pinababayaan ng isang sambayanan na nagdiriwang ng kapaskuhan. Ako po'y nagpapasalamat din po sa pangalan ng lahat ng ating matutulungan. But we, let's, let's see. Now, the mission in life is to discover that gift. Now the Lord is asking us to share that gift so that others may find a bit of joy in the season of Christmas. Amen. Tayo po'y magsitayo as we proclaim, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through Him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, He came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy, Catholic, and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. My dear brothers and sisters, like Mary and Elizabeth, may we welcome our Savior with joy and open our hearts to His saving word. With confidence we pray to our loving Father, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Like Mary, who visited her cousin Elizabeth and brought her great joy, may the Church, the people of God, be bearers of glad tidings to all peoples, especially the lonely, the sick, the disabled, and the old, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. Like good shepherds, may our government leaders be sensitive to the needs of our people and hear their cry for a just, transparent, participatory, and caring government, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we all respect and defend the rights of the unborn, be sensitive to the situation of pregnant women, and provide better opportunities for the younger generation of Filipinos, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May families and friends who come together this Christmas feel more united, more supportive of each other, 
and more generous with understanding and forgiveness, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. May we bring hope of reconciliation and unity to everyone, especially in this extraordinary Jubilee Year of Mercy, and thus receive for ourselves the loving forgiveness of God, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We also pray for the birthday intentions of Tessie Season, Cesar Lee, Ian Regaliza, the anniversary intentions and the wedding of Colonel Alex and Aimee Sintin, the repose of the souls of Luciano Navarro, Glyceria Clemente, and the healing of Lourdes Agustin. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, come and visit your people. Strengthen our weak knees and, const and inconstant hearts that we may receive you with joy and renewed strength through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please remain standing while the gifts are being offered. <laughs> May the friends at your sacrifice in mind be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. May the Holy Spirit, O Lord, sanctify these gifts laid upon your altar, just as He filled with His power the womb of the Blessed Virgin Mary. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Let Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty now, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, to Jesus our Lord. For all the oracles of the prophets foretold him, the Virgin Mother longed for him with love beyond all telling, John the Baptist sang of his coming and proclaimed his presence when he came. It is by his gift that already we rejoice at the mystery of his nativity, so that he may find us watchful in prayer and exultant in his praise. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim.
indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the blood and blood of Jesus Christ, our Lord. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith As we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring it to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, with Luis Antonio, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you to your Son, Jesus Christ. <coughs> Through Him, with Him, and in Him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, Forever and ever. Let us pray to the Father that we all will discover our gifts and realize that our greatest meaning will be found, will be found only when we have truly become His gifts to others. We pray the Our Father.
Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, I leave you peace, my peace I give you. Look not, Lord, on our sins, but on the fate of your church. Grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Umpisahan natin to be a gift. From the heart, prayer, and a blessing. Share natin ang kapayapan ni Cristo para sa ating katabi. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Behold, Jesus, the gift of the Father to us, the God who saves. Happy are we who open our hearts to welcome Him. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. For those of you who are unable to receive Holy Communion, especially our brothers and sisters who are joining us in this TV Mass, we invite you to pray with us this prayer for spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot, at this moment, receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart i embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you amen
tatlong announcements po lamang. Una, kung kayo po ay naghanap ng pagsisimbahan sa araw ng midnight ng Christmas, December 24, bago po ng 25, ay baka interested po kayo na pumunta sa CCP, Cultural Center of the Philippines. Mayroon po silang gagawin doon alas 8, mag-uumpisa po sila ng panuluyan kung saan ang grupo ng Ramon Obusan Dance Folkloric Company ang siya pong magpe-present ng ganon. Pagkatapos sa misa po mismo, hindi naman masyado magaling yung singers nila. Madrigal singers lang. At ang tutugtog po, hindi naman masyado magaling din. Philharmonic Orchestra lang. Tapos magkakaroon po ng sayaw, I think lang bali group ng Saint Scholastica. Ang maganda at interesting, magkakaroon po ng caroling by bells. Yung ganun lang ng mga bata. kagaling na grupo na siya din pong isang grupo na kinuha nila para sa APEC. They will be ringing the bells during that moment. Walang ibang instrumento kundi bells lang po. Pagtsatsagaan nyo na lang yung pare Si Father Mario po ang magmimisa. <coughs> Ito po'y libre. Ito po'y libre at wala pong bayad. It's a great treat for Christmas. To celebrate Christmas with culture, with music, with art. Yan po'y gagawin sa CCP Main Hall. Pasok lang po kayo. Agahan nyo lang siyempre ng konti para nang kayo po'y magkaroon na maayos na upuan. Uulitin ko, wala pong bayad. At darating din po ang ating mga national artists doon na mga buhay pa, sila po'y makakasama natin. So ito po'y handog ng CCP bilang pasasalamat sa ating sambayanan to celebrate Christmas with music and with art. Yan ang ikalawa. Pangalawa, <coughs> yung ating pong choir pagkatapos ng ating misa ay tutugtog din po para sa atin ng carol. Sa so, wag po kayong kaagad umalis. Ano po? We are happy to have a beautifully playing for us uh, dalawang artist no si Jose at uh, si Joshua who will be joining them in this carol. Pangatlo, sa mga nais po pong uh, bumili ng ating libro para makatulong po kayo sa seminaryo, yung 366 Days with the Lord at yung ating Tagalog po naman, available pa po sa labas para naman may buong taon kayong kasama upang alamin ang gusto ni Lord sa pamamagitan ng explanation ng gospel araw-araw. Tayo po ngayon ay magsitayo. Having received this pledge of eternal redemption, we pray, Almighty God, that as the feast day of our salvation draws ever nearer, so we may press forward all the more eagerly to the worthy celebration of the mystery of your Son's nativity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Huwag kayong aalis ha. Magkakarol po sa inyo yung ating choir. Alalahan niyo yung ating sinabi. Your mission in life is to discover your gifts. The meaning of your life will be found when you share that gift. Go in the peace of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Magsiyupo po tayo at ating pong pakinggan ang awiting pamasko ng ating sambayanan. <laughs>